Did Israel use sonic booms from their fighter jets during Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah's live speech on September 19th, 2024, to pinpoint him and attack that location yesterday on September 27th, 2024? These Israeli flyovers of Beirut at speeds higher than Mach 1 create loud sonic booms thought by news reporters and commentators to be a form of intimidation and psychological warfare. However, those flights were probably very tactical and used to geolocate Hassan Nasrallah. Israel knew Hassan Nasrallah was going to address Lebanon with a live broadcast as was publicly announced regarding the pager and walkie-talkie attack response. During his speech, the news announced the numerous sonic booms caused by the Israeli Air Force. Inventor Guy Kramer, who has worked in the defense industry for over two decades, guessed at the time that Israel were trying to locate him from their fighters breaking the sound barrier. Given that the news reported yesterday that this direct attack had been planned for about a week, indicates they probably confirmed his location from those sonic booms. They likely used their Israeli supersonic fighter jets to fly a specific pattern of Mach 1 Plus overflights to then review the speech later for those sounds on the recording which would allow them to triangulate his precise location and begin to plan the attack which took place yesterday. AI could probably review the speech in close to real time and knowing the flight paths of the numerous Israeli jets could then analyze the sound data from his live televised speech to pinpoint his location. Why wait to attack? Israel may have had intel on an upcoming meeting where other high-level targets may also be present as it was reported that Abbas Nilfarushan, a senior commander in Iran's powerful Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, was among those killed in the Israeli strike, targeting Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah. It has also been reported that Ali Karaki, Hezbollah's commander of the Southern Front, and other Hezbollah commanders were killed in the attack. What does this mean if true? Any voice call on a phone, walkie-talkie, communications radio, or a live video feed, or recorded video with a timestamp, could allow Israel to precisely geolocate the persons or people on those devices using this tactic. This would also work by tracking the sound of the detonation of weapons in a battlefield on those devices, perhaps something that has been happening in Ukraine for some time. On May 6, 2022, Guy Kramer wrote an article on LinkedIn regarding how stealth aircraft specifically slower subsonic stealth and conventional bombers, were vulnerable from their Mach 1 atmospheric pressure shock wave, which travels ahead of the slower aircraft. This pressure shock wave can be tracked on the ground and triangulated to determine the aircraft's potential location, direction of travel, and speed. The Israelis may just be using a reverse version of this, allowing the pressure wave to become the signal for them to track.